Welcome to this presentation of Shipdex Data Manager. Corina Shipdex Data Manager is a browser based tool for managing Shipdex compliant data. Shipdex compliant data is basically issue 2.3 S1000D data modules that follows the business rules given by the Shipdex protocol. The method of exchanging Shipdex documentation differs from the S1000D specification, and this is where Shipdex Data Manager comes into the picture. While S1000D data is exchanged in transfer packages, followed by a data dispatch note, Shipdex data is sent in a specific folder structure called a Shipdex dataset. This dataset consists of separate folders for the different information sets. Data modules are sorted by their information code into the different data module folders. In addition, there are separate folders for storing external documents and illustrations. Another major difference between S1000D transfer packages and Shipdex datasets is the data module list, or DML. The DML is an Excel document with three sheets. The first sheet is the data module list. This sheet shows a list of all data modules supplied in a project. The second sheet is the system breakdown code list, or SBC sheet. The function of the SBC sheet is to identify the physical components supplied to a customer for a given project. The third sheet is the FCS sheet, which shows the functional code structure. The manufacturer and the ship owner have both responsibilities in the DML document. The manufacturer provide part numbers and serial numbers for all physical components supplied to a customer. The ship owner has responsibility for assigning installation locations to every applicable part number supplied by the manufacturer. Shipdex Data Manager provides tools for both exchanging documentation and creating the DML document. To sum it up, Shipdex Data Manager can load S1000D transfer packages, create and enhance the DML document, Export documentation as a Shipdex compliant data set. The data manager can also do these operations in the reverse order. Load a Shipdex data set, transform it, and export it as an S1000D transfer package, with a ready-made publication module, if this is wanted. Shipdex data manager is designed to support the exchange of documentation between manufacturers and ship owners or shipyards. Take a look at this high-level presentation of the Shipdex workflow. It shows how documentation from a manufacturer's S1000D system is transformed into a Shipdex dataset. It shows that the data is validated and enhanced before it is sent to the ship owner. The ship owner will load the data and fill his portion of the DML. When the documentation is verified by the ship owner, the data can be exported again both as S1000D, and Shipdex data. Let's have a closer look on this workflow, and at the same time see how Shipdex data manager solves the different tasks. We begin in the manufacturer role, with an S1000D transfer package, where all data modules are first verified. From the Manage Data menu, I select Load New Data Set. In this form, I fill where the data set is located and the other details that the application needs in order to convert the data to a Shipdex data set. Next we can start the loading and follow the progress. Several checks are done on the data during the load. If you get any errors or warnings during loading, represented by yellow and red color in the progress column, you should investigate these by clicking on more details until you can read the error message.
errors must be fixed outside the data manager, and prior to importing the corrected data, you must remove data that contains errors. When loading is complete and OK, you can start the validation step. The validation step contains a range of checks of the loaded data package. Among other things, the system will run inconsistency checks, and the content will be checked against the ship deck specific rules. Errors must be investigated. If the errors are related to issues outside the SBC sheet, you must fix the data outside the data manager and reload the fixed dataset. When there are no more errors or warnings, except those about missing part numbers and serial numbers, we can start working on the SBC sheet. Click Enhance SBC Sheet to open the Port Ship Configuration Management Panel. Here, all hardware components are listed. As a manufacturer I must provide part numbers and serial numbers for all physical components delivered. When part numbers and serial numbers are in place, the manufacturer can export the package as a ship DEX dataset and send it to the ship owner. The export function allows you to select different formats for the data. You can choose between the regular S1000D transfer package an S1000D transfer package with a PM included, or a ShipDex dataset. We select the ShipDex dataset, since this package is for the ship owner. When the export is finished you can take a look in the export folder. Here you can see the ShipDex folder structure and that the program has created the DML document. This data set can now be loaded by the ship owner, who should follow the same procedure as the manufacturer when loading and validating the data. As mentioned before, the ship owner also contributes to the DML document by adding information about where the components are installed. The ship owner can now build a virtual publication so that the content can be viewed and reviewed. We click the Run button to start the build. When finished, we open the Virtual Publications Easy Bar to access the root folder of the publication. When a data module is selected in the folder structure, the content displays in the View tab. If the content is OK, the ship owner can apply the second verification on the data modules. This is done back in the Status page. The Run button for the second verification will only be available if the package has been validated. Second verification is the ship owner's approval stamp inside a DM. It indicates that all data are checked, validated and accepted. When second verification is applied, the QA element of all data modules are updated. This is the only change in the data, DM issue number, and date, is left untouched. The data can then be exported and transformed to an S1000D transfer package, and loaded into the ship owner's S1000D CSDB. You have now hopefully learned a little more about Corina ShipDex Data Manager, and the ShipDex protocol. Visit our website corina.com for more information about our products and services. Thanks for
for watching.